Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Loom. All right. Now, we, uh, we've got this uh, young man asleep over here, so you know what? Let's go ahead and wake him up. Now, I think you can cast anything on him, and he'll actually open up, or waken up. So let's, uh, let's cast open on him, see what that does. blacksmiths. I'm supposed to be getting firewood for the master, but this plateau has been picked cleaner than a new blade. Come over here. That's us down there. The forge. That's what we call it. I've heard you weavers don't get out much. What's your business here? I've been looking for a flock of swans. Swans? No. No swans around here. Oh, say, all this talk has made me sleepy. A real pleasure, though. Oh, let me know if you find your swans. You are real useless, Rusty. All right, well, let's go over here. Hey, we can open that door, right? Maybe I should stand a bit closer. Oh, who are you? Just me, a friendly stranger. This is a private guild, my strange young friend. The gate only opens for members. Hmm. Well, I can't target him, so I can't scare him. wonder if I can make it back over to the gate. Open! Let's go in. See what we can do in here. Hey! But I want in! Well, I guess you gotta be a member to get in. Hey, I know a member. He's right over here. Hey, you wake up. Maybe I have to look like him. Hey, I have a reflect spell. <laughs> ha ha ha, that did it. All right, well, we're just going to go ahead and leave him there since he wants to be a poopy pants and be asleep all the time. And, and we're going to go into the guild. Way back over there. About time you were coming home. Stokes been looking for you, and he ain't real happy. You better get in there right now. Oh, what did Rusty do now? And this is the guild of. Blacksmiths, everybody! And blacksmiths, blacksmiths everywhere! There's one over there, one over there, one down there. There's a couple coming up. I don't know, I don't think I can handle it in there. There's all that pounding going on all the time. Well, yeah. Pretty sure I'd freak out and hurt somebody. Okay, good, it's gone. It's about time, you lazy idiot! I sent you out four hours ago for firewood, and you bring me back one scrawny stick? If your father weren't the foreman, I'd toss you in the furnace! You're just like the used downstairs with the bishop right now! 
If that fire goes out and the cleric swords don't get done... I'm sorry, I had a bit of trouble. Perhaps you'd like to offer your confessions to the bishop in person. I'd be happy to arrange it. Now give me that stick! I'm done dealing with the likes of you, Nailbender. I'll be back. And you'd better hope the furnace doesn't go out. What a mess. I can't do anything without my distaff. Yes, you are useless, Bobbin. You can't even select a door without your it's distaff. Locked. And me with no distaff. Well, you can select the straw. That straw looks awfully comfortable, though. I must have a sleep draft woven into it. Imagine frightening a poor defenseless old thing like me, Cor. Well, I may not be much good with fire, love, but I still enjoy the taste of tender, firm young meat. One blasted stick of wood left to curse that lad. Ten thousand swords to forge, and the furnace is about as cold as my chances for promotion. I don't believe this. Real nice of that weaver kid. Just wait until his turn comes. I'll be waiting for him on the outside. Oh dear, that means trouble. Elder Atropos saw his staff, it is so he had something to say about it. You, you could be sure of that. Careful now, old bird. Let's not singe the feathers. Now, in the original version, it tells you that uh, Hetchel could not come back from the other side, or from the outside, which is outside of the pattern, um, until somebody died. And since Rusty died, it allowed her a path back from the outside. Um, also, in the original version, Bobbin wakes up as soon as Rusty dies and realizes that something bad might have befallen Rusty. But you get no such uh, cinematic here. Instead, we're just going to open the door. Strange how many things need opening in this game. And uh, let's do the blacksmith a favor here. Go ahead and fill his wood bin for him. Uh -huh. The final blade is even now in the hands of our most skilled blade shaper, Your Excellency. How's it coming there, Edgewise? I'm just putting the edge on the last sword, sir. Good to hear it! No slacking off now! Let's go it finished! You'll share with me a historic moment, Foreman. The forging of the Ten Thousand Sword marks the end of our preparations. How much longer must I wait? The steel will ring out its final defeat, sir. Not much longer now. Very good then. Carry on. Let's stall their progress next time on Let's Play Loom.